Hello and welcome everybody back to my channel. Today is going to be a makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day. So I created this look right here. It's a soft kind of subtle pink smoky eye with a beautiful pink lip to match and super glowy complexion. Now, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, then definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you'd like me to kind of record anything else, something that you're interested in, definitely leave a comment below and I will make sure to kind of get to that. And without further ado, let's just jump right in. Now, first things first, the complexion. So for today's look, I want something super glowy so i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury this is her hollywood flawless filter in shade two and i am actually just going to apply that all over the face Just using my fingers, rubbing that in. So it's not a super thick, heavy consistency, which is nice. I kind of like to use this almost as like a primer. and it just applies a really nice kind of healthy, subtle glow to the skin. Now, my new favorite technique is actually going in with bronzer first before foundation. Now, I use a cream product. I'm gonna go in with my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. And just kind of carving out those cheekbones and a little on the jawline. Now, when it comes to blending this out, you don't have to blend it out completely. Once you put the foundation over top, it actually blends out quite nicely. For foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Tiant Idol Ultra Wear. This is my <laughs> ride or die foundation. It always looks good. I never have to worry about it. And taking my clean beauty blender, just applying that all over the face. Now, I only ever use two pumps for the entire face. I find that if I use any more, it there's just too much foundation and it doesn't blend in nicely. The under eyes I'm going to conceal using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. Now, I love this stuff mainly because it's so moisturizing under the eyes. If I use any type of concealer, like for example, the one that I use for the rest of my face, I find that it dries out my eyelids too much and when I'm using any type of shadows or anything like that, they don't blend out as nicely. So I love this for under the eye. Now it's not super full coverage. Um, I don't need super full coverage because I don't have that bad of dark circles. It's just more or less to even out the skin tone. To conceal the rest of the face, I'm going to go in with Fenty Beauty. This is her new Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer, and I'm going to conceal any sort of red areas. I'm not neat when I do this at all. And just using my Beauty Blender, just going to blend that all in. Thank you. 
All right, so I'm pretty happy with how the complexion is looking right now. For an extra added glow, I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Beauty Light Wand. And I'm just going to apply that in the high points of the face. And again, same beauty sponge. I don't typically like using powder highlights because I find that when I use a powder highlight, it accentuates the texture on my face a little bit too much. So this stuff sits so nicely on top of the skin and it just gives a beautiful glow. I love that. To powder the face, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass. This is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And if I want my makeup to stay all day, I actually take my damp beauty sponge and I use that to place the powder. And you just kind of press it into the skin. If I dust it on with a brush, it gives a more definite, like, dewy look. But I find that I get a little bit oily in my T-zone throughout the day. And it does a gorgeous job at kind of blurring out any imperfections. For brows, I'm going to go in with the Lancome Define Brow Pencil. This is in shade Dark Blonde. I'm going to skip through this part. And just like magic, eyebrows are done. Now, for the eyes, I wanted to keep it pretty neutral. I wanna go more of almost like a soft pink kind of look. So I'm gonna use a few different products. The first product I'm gonna use is from Marc Jacobs. This is their Iconic Palette in shade Glambition. So just some beautiful neutral tones here. And the first shade that I'm going to go in with is going to be my crease shade. And that'll be just that guy right there. And that is called Infamous. I'm going to go back and forth to make sure that it's a nice, soft look. I'm going to be focusing more on the glitter than the actual shadow. Now, using a Sephora Pro smudge brush, I'm going to take that same shade and I'm actually going to kind of place it underneath my crease. I actually learned this trick from watching some of those um, like Asian eye makeup tutorials and this actually works. <laughs> it gives the illusion of making your eyes look a little larger and bigger because the next step that I'm going to do is taking that pink shimmer shade there and going directly underneath the lower lash line. So it's almost like contouring for the eyes. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to be going in with these eyeshadow trios from Kaja. Gorgeous kind of pink shimmer shades. Goes from lightest to darkest. There we go. I 
So I'm going to go in with this middle shade here. And apply that all over the lid. For the inner corner, I'm going to highlight with that lightest shade here. For eyeliner, I want something a little bit softer for this look, so I'm actually going to go in with an eyeshadow. Now the color that I'm going to be using is just this middle shade here from the Glambition palette. This is called Seeking. It's a beautiful taupe shade. And I'm being very light with my hand so as to not get glitter kind of everywhere. Taking my beauty blender, I'm just going to clean up those edges. Now to finish out the face, I'm going to add some additional contour here. I'm going to go in with my Dior Universal Contour Palette. This is their backstage palette. Just to darken up. That contour a little bit. Always remember to do the jawline. It's what gives your face that nice kind of definition. For blush, I'm just using the Tarte and Shade Exposed. Go ahead and curl my lashes. I was never a big believer in curling my lashes, but it actually does make a huge difference. For mascara, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass. This is the Caution Extreme, Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I'm going to do a good few coats on there. There, and after a million and one coats of mascara, we are complete. For the lips, I want to go in with a nice light pink to kind of keep in with this pink theme that we have going on here. Now, the lipstick that I'm going to be using is a matte lipstick, so I always like to go in with a little bit of a lip balm first. So I'm going to be using the Lana Lips. This is their Lemonade Lip Treatment. This stuff is so good. It smells exactly like lemonade. And it doesn't leave a weird film on your lips either that some bombs do. Just kind of smooth that around with my fingers. For lipstick, 
I'm gonna be going in with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Hot Lips in shade Live It Up. I absolutely love this pink. Like right there. It's that kind of beautiful bubblegum pink that I love for, especially during the winter months because it's a nice, cool toned lipstick. Now, to add an extra little bit of gloss, I'm gonna go in with the Dior. This is their Dior Addict Ultra Gloss in shade Nude. And just kind of almost stamping that on. All right, and there we have it, my final Valentine's Day look. Super glowy, pink, girly. Thank you all so much for tuning in with me. I hope to see you all again soon.